This your brother Dan Silk, not in my house. Uh, we can see the saga continue. In my post to follow after this, you know, I talked about when Boosie called T.I. a rat and a snitch and all that. You know, I said a lot of this could have been avoided by just picking up the phone before going to social media. So T.I. came back to Instagram yesterday. I'm going to try to read his writing. Basically said, yeah, so I don't know if it's you or your OG uncle that needs to see it, but I got my paperwork ready to show. Pull up, the 42-year-old uh, T.I. wrote in captions. My number's the same and my address the same. My, my nigga, to go on the internet and speak on shit you never spoke to me about is leaving me to believe that you... You've been hiding your heart the whole time. I never speak certain disrespect on your name, reputation, about if homie. The convict code says, when a doubt, pull the paperwork out. You ain't did that. Now, I ain't the type. Now, I don't know what type of time you on, but i say it again. If you was a question or confusion about anything I said, you could have asked. So you could report back and tell your OG or you could pull up and check the black and white like I'm offering now. Either way, my, my nigga, <laughs> I ain't about <laughs> or no nigga opinion of me because what they think will never overrule what I know. So I do wonder, no more homie, answer the if pull up and report back to the rest of these niggas who opinion matters so much to you because I can give a fuck about what no nigga think about me. Wow. <sighs> Basically, you just telling me, Boosie, you could have pulled up, you could have called me, got my address, and, you know, like I said, you know, culture media is greater than social media. People take social media to a task of like, you know, sometimes you can just pick up the phone, ask the man what's going on. But here, check this out. I still bet you this album come out. Trust me on that one. This your brother Van Soap, not in my house. Check out what I spoke on yesterday about Boosie calling him a rat. Peace. This your brother Van Silk, not in my house. Man, we living in a time where this generation of brothers is talking too much. Some are called rats. Some are called snitches. Then you got a whole lot of them just dry snitching. But man, if you want to be in the game, you want to be in the life. T tell on yourself. Now, the 6 9 situation, everybody got their own opinion. But what he was going through. Hey, it's either me or you, my life or your life. Got to watch your circle who you put down. My day, you didn't talk. But we also made sure we took care of your immediate family and took care of you when you came out. You got the whole YSL situation. They snitching, they talking, they making deals. Which brings me to the little Boosie 
now getting on T.I. for what T.I. said he did 17 years ago on his cousin that was dead. And I guess he ratted on his cousin, snitched on his cousin. But Boosie don't seem to believe the story. And at the end, these two had an album coming out together. And personally, I think it might have been a classic. Boosie sat down with DJ Villard. Or Villard. And he talked to him. And the audio is courtesy of DJ Villard. But I just like to sit back and say, yo. Sometimes we can just pick up the phone and have a conversation with a brother instead of bringing it to social media. But I can guarantee you, some way along the line, that album's going to come out. Check out what Boosie had to say with Vlad, and I'll be right back. With the T.I. situation, if he did that, you're a rat too. I don't spare no mother about it. Because if you, if you, if you do anything wrong, you do anything criminal wise, and you cooperate with law enforcement to get you out of trouble, that means you're cooperating, that means you're a rat. So, we know how Boosie's feeling, and this is my take on it. Man, T.I. has his explanation. He should have never brought it up. But you know, a lot of people always wonder, you know, T.I. got caught with the guns, silencers. You know, he did the Crime Stopper video. So that was like years ago, man. So now I'm trying to figure out something right now. It's always good for brothers to pick up that phone and talk to each other. See, that's good for social media. It might be good for sales. Y'all might turn around, put the album out. You might turn around and say, you know, we talked and that's not what happened. You know, I seen the paperwork or why he did it. But at the end of the day, he's calling a T.I. a rat. In other words, a snitch. You snitched on your dead cousin. Like I said, my time is different than this time. We're going to check back in with the last pieces with Vlad and Boosie. Audio by DJ Vlad and Boosie. And y'all, at the end of the day, yo, everybody just need to stand pat. If you're going to do grimy shit, don't take the next man down because you have to go. And some of your CIs out here. <laughs> oh, I know about the CIs, the confidential informants, man. Y'all ain't shit. This is your brother Vance, so not in my house, yo. I gotta go. Definitely gotta go. Bootsy. But and then, like, I'm like, why the fuck you say that when we got a found to come out? Okay. Like, it was like, bro. Okay, so is that album coming out? No. Oh. So you have a finished album with T.I. that's not coming out? No, because it ruined everything yeah. because of that. It ruined everything. 